unfortunately, Alistair's making it a bit hard for Vayne to clean up. <laughs> Fiora just teleported back to lane with a pickaxe, so she has a bit of a damage spike and boots, so she can stay on the Vladimir. There's a gank mid. Oh, Orianna is super low, and Ignite is running away on her. She goes down! Barely calculated with the bleed. The bleed and the Ignite together. That was close. I was thinking... Alistair's super low bottom, too. Sivir's trying to go in on him. One more one more hit, and she gets the kill. There's Bane is all alone now. Wait, oh. there's a teleport from it's Vlad. A double kill. Gragas is trying to run away, but I'm not sure... Yeah, he's gonna make... No! Vayne flashes! Oh, she's got him. That's a triple. That's wow. a triple. That is, is a... a Vayne... Five own Vayne. Yeah, Five kills crazy. at seven minutes into the game. And they're gonna transfer this into Dragon. Like, Diamond McQueen is like, Mushroom Mike's... Ace in the in hole. This. They're this... definitely in this. Yeah, this is one extremely terrifying Vayne. They've actually got a huge goal lead off of uh, just those early plays. And this Vayne? 5-0. She's actually 14, no, 1500 up on the Sivir practically. That's like yeah, the Sivir went, Sivir went Averse, Averse Blade. Blade. So she's gonna be even farther behind on her in, yeah. in the edge. The Fiora is getting damage on the top turret to try and get something back, but I think Vladimir's gonna make it back in time. There's no teleport response, it seems. Fjord cancelled it, actually. No, Fjord not down. still down. Yeah, I was still down. It was so recent that Fjord actually couldn't reply to that, and then... That was really aggressive for Sivir to flash in for the kill on Alistair. Alistair's looking for yeah. a gank mid. He's looking to come up behind that, the Orianna. He can get it. There's the slow from Talon. Talon just went in. Get the combo. He's in, yep. There's the combo. Talon ultimate. Yep, okay, this fine. Play. Yep. Fjord's, Fjord's coming in, though. Fjord's gonna try to clean this up, but I think Alistair still has... No, his ult is down! Oh, he just he used just it. Ulted. Yeah, he just ulted. He just used it. Gets out safely. Well played. Yep. <laughs> really good roam. And... That's the problem, is... With the power disparity in the bot lane, like... Vayne's almost at a cutlass already. Or, or a Blade of the Rune King, rather. And she's literally 1v2 in this lane. Like, that's ridiculous. Her support just randomly walks mid, kills your mid laner. And then you're like, well, at least our, mid our bot lane has pressure. And then you look and Vayne's 1v2ing and actually still ahead on minions. I feel like even though Vayne is is like ahead of Sibber in CS and in kills, that she wouldn't, shouldn't be able to 1v2 a Braum and a Sibber. She finds some damage on a Sivir, stops the back. So that's actually really good for them. Sivir has enough money for a BF sword, so at least Sivir will have that. But she's still so far behind this Vayne, who... Just picking up that triple kill right after the double earlier. Yeah, that was pretty insane. Oh, we're seeing some trades up top with Fjord onto Vladimir. They're constantly going back and forth. It's they're not both, very explosive yeah. yet, though. They're both getting good damage and good poke down on each other. The Fjord is giving uh, Vladimir a lot of time to heal up, though, off of the minions. Yeah, it looks like Alistair's coming in for another gank on mid, but... Ori's playing a little safer this time. She might be she okay. He has flash. If, if they remember that Oriana's flash is down, he could flash the wall, pulverize, or just headbutt her into Talon, and then... Gragas finds Lee Sin hanging out by mid too. Lee Sin's going for the fight with Gragas as Talon goes into on Oriana. Lee Sin is winning the fight with Gragas. He has to flash to get away. Lee Sin flashes oh, after oh. him and takes him down. Talon dies to uh, Oriana just barely. And Sivir shuts down Vayne in the bottom lane while we're busy checking out mid. Apparently Vayne does get 2v1 finally. Oh, Fiora is going in on Lee Sin, but he just kicks her away. He lands the Q. She's still going for it. But Vlad is there and she oh. has to flash away. That was a really good flash because it, <laughs> it managed to <laughs> avoid the Vladimir ultimate. That would have been a definite kill. And Sivir and Bra managed to take down the bottom outer turret. It's pretty big. They, got, they may have stayed it. Tried too hard for that gank mid on the Oriana. 
Yeah, that yeah, shutdown they... gold is definitely gonna help Ori out a lot. They did get the kills, but the problem was uh, Talon accidentally got into turret range and then was Oriana shockwave. So he was tanking turret and Oriana at the same time for way too long. Gragas has actually managed to loop around the Vladimir. Vladimir should be dead here. He doesn't even have he flash. He uses up. the ult right away. Because an Infuris come on. His flash is almost up. If he can... He's using I the pool. Should. Oh, she should get him, up. yeah. Gragas leaves it for Fiora to clean up. Fiora should push that in. Vayne and Alistar are pushing the Sivir Braum back into. Their turret is nearly dead. Like three hits from Vayne and that thing should go down. The gold lead's actually shrunk a bit to what it used to be. It used to be close to 3k. And. Alistar's hiding in the push. Hit. He gets a knock up on Braum, but nothing else happens. Leeson looks for the Q onto Fiora, fails it, so he kicks her away. And Fiora doesn't really mind too much. I think she almost wants him to come back in. Yeah, she had Oriana waiting. Waiting in the wings. There's a fight bomb going on. Guys comes in. Damage on the Alt is down, Gragas is in there. They get the stun on Alistair, but his ult is keeping him safe for now. They exhaust Fiora, she's trying to go Vlad for it. in with a huge ultimate. Vlad, that Sivir should really be dead, yep. Gragas is trying to kill the Bane, but nope. he just can't do it. Yeah, true damage just eats through Gragas, because that damage reduction Gragas normally has does not apply. Bane just secures it. Yep, that was a really bad fight bottom for Supernova Black. The problem was, Alistar just buys so much time that he's not the one you want. You want the Vayne every time. They just couldn't lock her down. And even though Fjord teleported first, the response teleport from Vladimir just made sure to guarantee that all of them would die and all they would leave is one. Yep, and off of that they got the dragon and they were able to... And Talon is currently knocking down mid-outer turret. Yeah, they got bottom turret from that as well during that whole exchange, so they're sitting at a 5k gold lead on Mushroom Mike. This is a rather significant lead this early in the game. Supernova Black really need to find themselves some picks. They need to start knocking down turrets and start swaying the gold lead back in their favor. I think they need to abuse the stronger top lane. Like, if Fiora can bully the Vladimir, like, she has to get that turret down. Because, yeah. uh, like, the turret gold, even if your team loses one or two kills, the turret gold will equalize that and help all your teammates across the entire map, no matter what role or lane they happen to be in. Yeah. Vlad just finished Seeker's Arm Guard and has a will Woda already, so he, he might be pretty hard to to deal with for this Fiora now. Fiora yeah. just has her TM on. Fiora really needs to manage to get the Ravenous Hydra. But the Global Gold from all the turrets has helped Vladimir a huge amount along with the assists, so... He's actually sitting almost a thousand gold above Fiora at this point. Strangely enough, Fiora... Uh, it's arguable. Fiora goes Ninja Tabby, which means she's planning to fight the Talon and Bane, rather than caring about the Vladimir. The problem is, if Vladimir can just sustain off Fiora and push her in, then Fiora's not going to provide pressure across the map. Vlad's well, actually heading down bottom right now. They're spotted out by Braum in a pink ward. Sorry, not bottom mid. Mushroom Mike smartly pushing up their line of vision. They have a pink ward in the enemy's jungle, so. They're just trying to see them coming when they try to counter their pushes. This vein is almost 2,000 gold ahead of uh, Sivir now. 
getting pretty out of hand. Yeah, they really need to shut that Vayne down. Like, Vayne's short range, and she's able to walk up and just hit this turret. There's a Gragasol. Gragasol goes in. Alistair gets knocked into yeah. the turret. He's tanking it, but he's one tanky Alistair. cow. Yeah. Unfortunately, you want it. damage went on to Vladimir, and Vladimir can just, like, life steal it up if Vayne lets him. <laughs> Vayne's like, no, you, you stay low health, Vladimir. <laughs> she wants the farm. She's mad because he took one kill bottom when he teleported in. And Vayne's like, I should be 8-1, and one, not 7-1. and one. All their lanes are getting pushed in on uh, Supernova Black, and they just want to farm up because they do have a decent late game. Like, Orianna is a really good late game. Fiora is actually strong enough to come back from any deficit if she can avoid falling too far behind. They're actually oh, looking they at... Try? They might be trying to gank Vladimir right now. Fiora's going in on him. He's used his pool. Gragas is there. Wow. Nice. Fiora gets the kill. A really good repost from Fjord to nullify the damage. When Alistair headbutt pulverizes Oriana, but Braum is there to try to keep her safe. He ults, she uses her ult. There's a shockwave. Talon gets exhausted, he gets out. Lee Sin Ooh. comes in and demolishes Oriana. Braum is left all alone, hiding under his turret. Fjord is there, but she's really low health. I don't really know if there's anything she can do. No, the yeah, turret goes down. At least it nullified a really good play by Braum. Braum walked all of the rake damage from Talon and uh, with his shield and... And Vayne least... soloed Sivir down in the bottom lane. And soloed the turret along yep. with it. Yeah. That, that Sivir should have just known better than to try to 1v1 that Vayne. 7-1 yep. Vayne is probably some bad news. Yeah, Vayne is two levels up on Sivir now, and like even if you just look at the items and go, oh, I might be able to fight that. No, there's there's levels up, and levels give a lot of stats. Experience advantage is too much to overcome in that. Not only the experience advantage, but the item advantage as well. Yeah, Supernova Black really just wants to try and draw the game out and play defensive and farm, but. I'm sure Mike is doing a really good job of just forcing issues around the map. Yeah, they're getting a nice good 1-3-1 one, one going on because no, it seems like no one can deal with the, the Vlad one-on-one -on -one and no one can deal with the Vayne one-on-one. -on -one. So it, it's up to uh, the jungler and maybe Braum to roam around and make some plays. Yeah, like, and Dragon is coming up in 15 seconds too. So but, uh, I don't think... Supernova Black can contest that from Mushroom Mike. Yeah, they're fighting over Vision in the jungle now, but... There's a lot of wards in there, and they just can't get rid of them all. And even then, that's just in the jungle. There's nothing near the Dragon Pit. Yeah, Supernova Mushroom Black Mike is... Going in. Moving in on the dragon. Vayne is just like. They're gonna be too late. Yeah. There's only three there though. Rob comes in, he alts, he hits Alistair and Lisa. Lisa is down. The t Sivir's alt, she's trying to run. She's staying on the back line, she's trying to stay safe, but Vayne takes down Brom. Sivir should be next. Oriana's there, but I don't think she can do much against that Vayne. Their team is just getting destroyed. Gragas went back in on Vayne, and now he's trying to run for his life. Vayne just got the quadra kill. Someone give her the penta. Fiora is just running for <laughs> it. She's not gonna give it. No. No. Too bad. Yeah, that was pretty bad. Uh, by Supernova Black, the Ori ult I think only hit the Alistair. Uh, Fiora did some work in the fight, but Vayne was left alone with the Sivir and the Oriana and just cleaned them up real quickly. Yeah, this... Sivir spent a lot of time actually running around scared and got one auto attack off before she died to the Vayne. Yeah. Wow. She was running around in like the the, the blue, uh, the area by uh, blue. The ramp. Yeah. yeah, the ramp, sorry. I'm starting to get tired. She was running around by ramp, just like literally doing nothing for most of the time. And Vayne is like soloing Fiora right now in the top turret. Ooh. 
She oh, took fuck. a lot of damage from the turret though, but Fiora almost went down. Gragas is trying to go in, Braum's going in. This should be a dead vein. Gragas just needs to- Oh, she flashes oh, over the wall. Flash. Alistair is there now, so she should get out. Yeah. Wow, she manages to get out. Talon's gonna- Talon's hiding her. right there, he's popping right on Braum. Braum is dead. He had absolutely no chance to stay alive. Bane is going Triforce! Bane is going Triforce, boys. Well, after Blade Rune King and Phantom Dancer, Triforce just gives her even more kite ability to move around, kite people, chase people down even. Lee Sin's going in on Sivir and Orianna. She flashes, she uses her hourglass, but she's just stuck in the middle of Mushroom Mike. They take her down. Sivir is so low on health, she needs to back away. She drops heal. Bane Ooh. finally goes down. Gragas shuts her down. Sivir, okay. Fiora is chasing after the Talon, yeah. but I don't think she can get anything else. That's Bane got, yeah, Bane got caught out in the middle of fight with the Braum passive and Braum ult, I believe. Well, they're finally focusing the Vayne instead of just leaving her up. They saw her, they jumped on her. It was exactly what they needed to do. And Gragas is going in on Vlad right now. Vlad could probably just pull away. There he goes. He might be dead still. Oh, yeah, he still oh, he still goes down. And there's a fight right now in the mid. Talon is really low. Alistair's pretty low too, and his alt is still down from the previous fight. Unfortunately, yep. Supernova Black can't really get any objectives off that, even though they won the fight. They probably could have won it even harder if some people had uh, noticed when they were going to do their huge CC chain. But... They still won the fight, but unfortunately they can't even get mid turret, they can't get top turret. Dragon wasn't up. They obviously can't go for Baron, it's only 23 minutes. So... Sivir actually has to... Huge. Yeah, Sivir actually has to run away from farming bottom because she's so low and she's taking minion damage that Lee Sin could just execute her with a Q. Vayne's actually by herself in the enemy jungle, and she feels safe because they have so much vision here. She's just chunking down Oriana. Oriana uses her ball as a shield, but it's not enough. She has to run back into her base for safety. Like, Vayne's 12 and 2, and walking around by herself, just feeling comfortable in the enemy's top jungle, just... That's crazy, just... Balls on that guy. What if there's a Fiora there? <laughs> She's not even scared of the Fiora, even though Fiora is 5 and 1. I don't really blame her though, because she faced off against Fiora under the top turret and she almost killed her under the turret while taking turret damage. She almost died herself for that though. Yeah. So for that great flash, she would have died for sure. Posturing around Baron. They don't have TP yet, up yet, so they can't send flat bottom. But it's up pretty soon. I think they should go back to splitting with the Vayne and the and the Vlad. Seems like in the team fights, Vayne is just getting picked off, which she's, they don't want at all. She's getting called driven. Fiora is going in on Lee Sin, but he really quickly disengages. He wants something to do with that. There's a TP coming in from Vlad. Supernova Black is split up, and Talon is on Sivir. He demolishes her. Oriol goes down, but it's not enough to bring down anybody. Braum is running for his life. He's almost dead. One more tumble. That should do it. He's down. Yeah, it's just so hard to run away from Phantom Dancer Bane. With well, Bane. Also with Fuhrer. <laughs> Alistair is just single-handedly taking that turret with his ult. That'll be the inhibitor for them, and that puts uh, Mushroom Mike in a really good position in this game. Like, they've got about a 10k gold loop, which is really... They could probably keep pushing enough. this up if they want. Uh, I think they want to fall back to either Dragon or Baron, depending on what they feel like they're up to. Looks like they're heading towards Baron. 
There are wards on the way, so Supernova Black does know this is happening. And they know there's a ward on Baron because of the pink ward, so Magic Mike knows that they'll know if they start it or not. Fortunately, this is, oh yeah, they saw it. Alistair has to flash to get away from the team. He goes down to Fiora. Gragas flashes in. He's chunky down Vayne. She's trying to run for it. She flashes over the back of red buff. Talon goes down and Oriana, she doesn't even stand a chance. Bromal comes in. Vladimir goes down. But Brom follows that. Sivir flashes to get Talon and they're chasing down the vein, the last member of Mushroom Mike alive, but it looks like they're turning around and setting their sights on the Baron. There's the comeback fight and it's mostly because uh, Supernova Black actually has slightly better team fighting comp, even though... Yeah, this is like, really smart for Supernova Black to do this. Sivir gets the Bane. Kill on Bane, 1v1 somehow. She has to be really careful right now, though. She's really low on health, and that Baron could kill her. Now she has to back off. Yeah, they don't have enough to... Alistair's coming in. Fiora's dead. He headbutts her up and pulverizes and says, Baron, help me out, and Baron just spits her into the grave. They just well, did not... Alistair's going hunting some more. They just did not have enough to damage to take down Baron. He's oh, he getting really it. close. Oh. oh. It he gets away anger. just in time. Just gets angry at the ground. Just like, damn! One more second. That was a really good comeback fight for Supernova Black. And because the kill went on to Alistair, it wasn't too bad that they were able to catch out the Oriana at the end there. Wayson is building a phage and also a Randuin. I'm not sure which one he's going to complete first. They do pick up Dragon though, so. That's fourth dragon, so that puts six minute timer on this game suddenly. So Mushroom Mike, even though they had a worrying looking fight back then, they're still in a really good position. They have inhibitor down. They have four dragons. Fifth one's gonna be next. And of course the other team couldn't take the Baron. We have a lot of people posturing in the blue side jungle of Supernova Black. They still have a turret up top that they should take care of at some point. Yeah, they should Pretty consider cool. it, mostly because they aren't really a siege comp. Yeah. This is the battle of the wards right now. Sivir pops are out, they're going in on Talon. But they quickly disengage. Sivir just took way too much burst damage from Talon. They got scared and backed off. But now they are definitely down one of their main disengage and engage tools. I'm actually surprised that Talon went with the Black Cleaver simply because the Last Whisper gives you much more upfront burst. about the same amount of damage, but you don't get a ton of time to Oh, Oriana, why? She totally gets caught out by three members of Mushroom Mike and absolutely decimated. Uh, that was a risky. Leeson lands the Q on Sivir. He kicks her, but he kicks her into her own turret. He fails the insect. Yeah, just a little bit short on the ward. It's okay, though, because you miss everyone you don't try. They're definitely trying to siege down this turret. Alistair pulverize has butts, but... He does have ult. He is very low on health though. Despite losing Oriana, they managed to hold the inhibitor turret. So they're all right with stalling it out. Well, Sliver does have really good wave clear and she does have three items right now. I wonder why they're backing. This would be the perfect time to do Baron. Like they, they had so much time. They pushed out the top lane. If they just yeah. back while Ori was down, they could do the Baron really quickly with the Vayne. Like least oh, Bane is hiding in the death bush too. behind Baron, but she's oh, she's spotted him. She might be in some serious trouble here. Brahm has to ult in order flash. to get her. And they give the kill over to Fiora. Yeah, there was no flash on her, so as soon as she got too aggressive and no one was around, which she's been doing, she's been out by herself in that red jungle. Finally, she gets punished for it. She's too confident in the fact that she is a 13 Talon floor. Talon go and blow up Sivert. He doesn't succeed close. though, her heal saves her. Fiora's trying to go in on him. 
I don't know if they'll be able to. He, he goes crashes back, in, yes, back in. He shuts Sivir down. There's an exhaust down on him. He goes down to Fiora. Ori's running for her life. Alistair is in the fight. He's tanking so much. Bob and Ori are too low to really do much of anything. And Vlad is just cleaning them all up. Oh, they managed to kill Ori Vlad. damage. Rob is trying to run for his life from Lee Sin, and he somehow makes it. They're fighting the Alistar, and Gragas does have percent health damage. But oh, it looks like Alistar's actually gonna take down the Oriana before oh, the jungle. Gragas gets the shutdown, and now it's the fight of the junglers, and this should go to Gragas. Gragas puts him in the grave and says, yeah, that'll be a five for however many people we lost that fight. <laughs> <laughs> that fight went on so long, I don't even know how many people died. That was such a dragged out fight. <laughs> Five for three, only the Gragas and the, the Braum didn't die. Yeah, that's right. Braum got away with like a sliver of health. Then that's uh, a team fight win for Supernova Black, so they're not rolling over dead yet. Well, they're definitely and coming out in these team fights. They're bringing it. Yeah, a lot of it is uh, the Vayne getting punished for being very greedy with her position. Yeah. Exactly. That was a 4v5, remind you, so they ba they barely won that, so. That is true. Yeah, Vayne definitely needs to start being a little more careful, though. She can't keep getting caught out, and here she is again, but the rest of her team is in mid, so she's probably feeling a little safer, or maybe not. Gragas goes in on her, but he oh, ends up okay. ulting her away, and now Gragas is in trouble. The Brahmal comes in. Gragas goes down, Braum goes down, Fiora's down. Cobra, or King Cobra. Ori has to run yeah, for her life. In. Yeah, she's definitely dead. Ooh. Yep. This should definitely be game with just a alone Oriana. She Ooh. does end up taking down the Vayne though. I don't think that Hourglass is gonna save her. No. It okay, might. What's the timers? It might save the game actually. It might slow. It might slow Mushroom Mike down enough that they can't close out without the Vayne. They have another wave here. Let's see. Fior is up in five, along with the Braum. I think that's enough to keep people and off. The yeah, yeah, the game will keep going. Yeah, they're all backing off. They know. Gragas held the barrel a bit too long, and then Vayne managed to position herself correctly with Flash so that she got ulted away. And then the Fior ult was on the Vayne, so they couldn't kill her to get the massive team heal that Fior was providing in the previous fights that caused them to actually Mushroom. win fights they shouldn't. Mushroom Mike is backing. Instead of going for Dragon, which is up in two Alistair seconds, gets caught. Alistair's getting caught out. Yeah. He, pul he head but pulverizes, but he doesn't have ult. He has ult now. He's using it, but there's just so much damage coming in at him. Yeah, and there's true damage on Fior with uh, her passive, so... They should be able to secure that, and they'll stop the fifth dragon, which is crucial, unless Talon goes for the god steal. Vayne is is still up, and Vlad is hanging. Vayne and Vlad are hanging out. Talon's going in. He's looking for it. Vladimir the team gets in. it. Vladimir goes in though. They're they're ignoring him. They're trying to get on that Vayne, but Oriana just gets chunked down and killed. Rob is so low. Sivir's dead. Everyone on Supernova Black is just dying right now. That is definitely game. Yeah, that's over. The uh, Oriana didn't get her ult off. She died to the Vlad before before she could Zanya's or ult or even barrier in in that instance. So Yeah, and Streel really, got a yeah. really good cast onto the vein to knock her in. No one was there to capitalize unfortunately. Yeah. Vladimir with Pool and Zanya just kept them really busy. Yep. And then Talon on the backside distracted them a lot during that fight. That was definitely a good game though. Supernova Black put up a really good fight and they had some really good team fights where I thought they were coming back. So Mushroom Mike's uh